What's up guys, Steven here, welcome back to a new video. So yeah, I saved quite a long time for this here and today I'm going to waste it for a brand new MacBook Pro. So this is no Apple sponsored video, but I just want to give you my opinions on the MacBook and why I'm going to switch and also if it's worth it or not or if you should probably get something else in 2016. So well, make sure you watch it until the end and now let's get started. Alright guys, so we're still here in the R1 wonderful home testing out several products, more information down below in the description. And now, here it is, my new MacBook Pro early 2015 13-inch Retina or something like that, I'm not really sure about the order. Well, here it is and um, yeah, unfortunately it's just the 128GB version because as a YouTuber, you don't earn so much money as you guys might think. So what's this? This is Flo's notebook, it's the Asus Zenbook UX501JW. So I was like, should I get a MacBook? Um, why do I need a new notebook? So my MSI broke down and I was like, I need something for video editing on the go. And honestly, I have to say Final Cut is really, um, I like it more than Adobe Premiere. So um, Final Cut is super awesome and I thought the 13 inch MacBook Pro can handle um, the stuff that I do pretty well. And yes, it does, but well, the price, 1300 um, for an integrated Intel graphics and dual core processor, 8 gigabytes RAM. Nothing is upgradable, like, yeah, just the SSD is upgradable, but only with Apple SSD, so super expensive and absolutely not worth it. But I have to say, 128 gigabytes is nothing. So, um, if you basically start OS X, then you have only around 100 gigabytes to install several things, you have no space left. It's absolutely crap. So, guys, now you will ask yourself, he knows that's crap, why has he got the new MacBook? So well, um, there are still several things and this is because every blogger has a MacBook or almost everyone. And I have an iPhone so I wanted to test out the um, Apple ecosystem and as I've told you, Final Cut is just simply awesome and super easy to use. So this is why I gave it a try but my brain was like, no, there are several alternatives, so let's talk about them. First of all, the Sandbook. I have to say the Sandbook is super awesome. This one here, it's bigger, yeah. Um, if you compare this, for instance, with a 15-inch uh, MacBook Pro, I would still get the Sandbook because 4K display, dedicated graphics. This one here has the GTX 960 inside. 16 gigabytes of RAM, it has an SSD which you can swap. It has also um, a normal hard drive, so for storage. And this, yeah, this notebook is just simply awesome, still very portable and lightweight. While the MacBook is pretty heavy, but gives you really up to 10 hours of battery life. I'm just sitting here the whole day without the cable plugged in. Flo has always to have the cable inside because this is a real power machine. And this one here is like bigger smartphone. But beside of the Sandbook, there's also another alternative and this is the Dell XPS. Now Dell XPS, um, it has a 4K screen, looks just simply awesome. Then also it's based on the new Skylake processor, so um, the only um, downside for me was I wanted to have OS X, just, I mean, to try it out, and there is no Hackintosh right now. When the new MacBook Pro gets released, so probably in a couple of months, it was still a stupid idea to get this one here because the new one is released soon. So there's still no Hackintosh for the Dell XPS, but it also has Thunderbolt 3, while this one here has Thunderbolt 2. And Thunderbolt is really great because I'm currently waiting for my external GPU to arrive. So all I do is I just plug in my GPU and I have here um, some kind of better machine. Now for sure you don't have the full power you also have for instance with a desktop unit but still it boosts really the graphics performance and you can also play graphic intense games. Video is incoming. Alright, so let's talk about the ports. While um, here the Asus has three USB ports, um, the smaller MacBook here two USB ports and all that, they're pretty much equal. But what's the main difference? Thunderbolt. So well, we have two Thunderbolt 2 connectors or ports here on the MacBook while we have only a display port on the Sandbook. For sure, be careful when you buy a Sandbook. Now, Thunderbolt is really great and there are different versions. This one here has a display port, but this one that looks almost equal, um, it just has a different model number and comes with a Thunderbolt connector where you can do a lot of more stuff. Display port allows you, for instance, to connect a um, yeah, um, TV or a monitor, while Thunderbolt allows you even more. You can connect 4K um, TVs or displays with 60 Hz. Um, you can also connect external storages like external SSDs. The Thunderbolt is really, really fast. External GPUs, they're adapted for almost everything with Thunderbolt. So Thunderbolt is really, really great. So on newer um, models, like for instance, the Dell XPS, you have Thunderbolt 3, but eGPU solutions, there are none actually on the internet which really work or really good tutorials. 
and also you know Hackintosh which was something which I definitely needed because I want to use Final Cut is also not working because there are no Skylake drivers right now probably with the new MacBook but let's see guys all right so this is why I've actually got the MacBook because of Thunderbolt but you know there are different Thunderbolt notebooks on the market so this is nothing which only refers to Apple anymore so let's talk about the overall book quality and how it feels. So basically both devices have pretty nice build quality, also the smaller Asus ZenBook, and they are pretty well balanced, so you can open up here the lid without flipping up the whole device, and aluminum unibody is not something which refers to Apple devices only. So also, um, the ZenBook comes with a um, backlight on the keyboard, so the same like here the MacBook Pro, and it just looks simply awesome in dark room, so very nice. Alright, both devices are very slim and portable, even though I prefer the size on the iPad if you are um, in a train or in and basically in a plane because you don't have so much space. Um, the Sandbook is actually quite big. First of all, I thought, hey, it's a 17 inch, but well, if you come from such a small notebook, it looks really, really huge. Now, talking about something which is huge, the screen. So also huge bezels here, as you can see. The bezels on the MacBook, they're pretty small, and on the Dell XPS, you can almost see no bezels. So if you're into bezel-less futuristic design of carbon fiber, check out the Dell XPS, because this was also a notebook which I actually wanted to buy. So well, and we can talk about the screen, we have 4K here on the Sandbook, and I have to say um, it's just super nice workflow for gaming. So you have two pages on the same side, video editing, um, several windows, everything open. If you do gaming, then textures with the GTX 960 here inside, also very powerful. If you play games in 4K, it just looks simply awesome. On the MacBook, well, integrated graphics can barely power 4Ks over the display port and everything. But um, still, the display, the internal one, looks very nice, the battles are not too thick, and I like the glossy screen. Here we have a matte screen, pretty ugly battles on most of the sandbooks. I don't know why, Asus, why did you do that? But um, here on the MacBook, I think it looks pretty super awesome. Now, talking about the keyboard, as I've told you, both have backlight, but I feel typing on the MacBook feels a bit better, even though the keys are pretty much the same, but they're pretty more um, flat here on the MacBook Pro. Now talking about the touchpad, we have a multi-touch gesture touchpad here on the Asus Sandbook, while we have force touchpad on the MacBook Pro. Now the force touch touchpad on the MacBook feels pretty strange. So there's some kind of motor under the touchpad and if you tap it, basically the motor makes some kind of vibration so it feels like a normal hardware click. Now it sounds pretty stupid but I have to say I really like it. Different gestures to open up mission controls, swipe between pages in the browser, or just to use um, some kind of different um, custom gestures, which you can also do on the Sandbook, is just really awesome. So I absolutely love the productivity with the touchpad. I'm absolutely not a touchpad user because I usually prefer every mouse could be a garbage mouse instead of a touchpad. But since I have the MacBook, I was like, a touchpad is just simply awesome if it can do the same things like the force touch touchpad. So also let's talk about um, portability. Now the battery on the MacBook, as I've told, is simply awesome. Um, yeah, I just actually plug it in once a day while on the Sandbook, yeah, you have to be all the time or most of the time on power because it has just super awesome performance. Well here, yeah, it's not such a good performance. So let's talk a little bit about the media performance and also video editing a bit. So well, um, regarding the screen, I love the 4K screen because of the workflow here and the big screen on the Asus Sandbook. But um, I would say um, the colors look way more better on the MacBook. And if I would have the Dell XPS, I would place it here in the middle because it has 4K on a very small size and also good colors. But colors, um, color reproduction, also you can switch between different color schemes on the MacBook. I think it's better than on most devices I've seen. So I'm really in love with the glossy screen here on the MacBook Pro. So let's talk about the speakers. We have a Bang & Olufsen sound system here in the Sandbook. And I have to say, um, I'm actually a bit disappointed now. It does not sound as good, for instance, as here on my 13-inch MacBook. I know it sounds stupid right now, but um, it also comes down to personal preference. But I have to say, um, the speakers in the MacBook are really good. Good job, Apple. Now let's talk about the gaming performance. 
Well, you can play almost everything on the Asus Sandbox. So we played Rainbow Six, we played Daisy, everything with pretty good frame rate, also graphic intense games. Um, I can barely play um, Counter-Strike Global Offensive here on my MacBook. So the MacBook is definitely not a gaming machine. So if you think, yeah, it's expensive, 1300, yeah, you can play basic games, you can play also some newer games, but the Intel integrated graphics is really low performance, but gives you really good battery life. So guys, a comparison video would not be complete without a benchmark to get an idea about what we're talking. So well, um, we basically um, have double the CPU score here on the Sambook and we have also have like tripled the OpenGL score, like the graphics score on the Sambook. This is because we have in Quad Core i7, Dual Core i5. We have in dedicated NVIDIA graphics, well we have here Intel Iris integrated. So well, is it now worth it to buy a MacBook Pro? So I don't regret it, but I regret that I didn't spend too much money for the bigger version, like the one terabyte version, for instance, because this would be really awesome. The small version of 128 gigabytes is absolutely not worth it. So if you have the money, if you like the style of a MacBook, so regarding the smoothness, now Windows 10 here on this machine runs even smoother, I would say, than OS X, but for video editing, I really prefer Final Cut. So it really comes down to personal preference, now, what do you think? So write hashtag Apple down below in the description, in the comments, if you like a MacBook more or post like um, hashtag Asus or hashtag, um, I don't know, Dell, if you like some other models more. So well, um, my brain is still like, next time I won't buy a MacBook anymore because I need the performance. So I'll switch to a Sandbook or some Ultrabook, which will be the next generation MacBook killer. All right, guys, so thanks for watching this review. Make sure you subscribe for more content in the future. And yeah, See you very soon in the next one. Bye-bye.